to create the buttons, it's very simple to do that. As we did before, let's create a new UI component and choose the button, rename it to grid space. Then let's reset the transform and reset the width and the height to 188, 128. Choose any color you want for the target color. And now let's save it as a preset by clicking diamond here. Okay, and same as for the normal color, choose any color again. Okay, save it as a preset. Do the same thing for the highlighted color. And finally for the breast and selected color and don't forget to save it as a preset. Okay, save the changes. Now let's change the text of the button by setting the text property to X and changing the font size to 111 as well as the color, change it to whatever you want. Now save it as preset. Now let's create the prefab. Firstly, create a new folder and name it prefabs. And simply drag the grid space component to the prefabs folder and you have it. Finally, let's duplicate the prefab eight times and allocate them on the board by changing the position X and Y for each one of them. You can find the positions on my blog. I will leave the link to the blog down below in the description of this video. In the next video, we will write the script that handles the click event for each button to change it from X to O or the opposite. Now, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.